The press called him GOAT, which is short for the greatest of all time. And marathon runner Elliot Kipchoge indeed defies human standards, especially since the Kenyan broke records in Vienna in 2019. As the first human in history, Kipchoge broke the two-hour barrier at an astonishing average pace of completing one kilometer in two minutes, 50 seconds. In 2021, he won his second Olympic gold medal. But that's still not enough. Now, at age 37, Kipchoge dreams about winning all six Abbott World Marathon majors. But who's the person behind the world-famous athlete? Where does he get his unbreakable mental strength from? We wanted to find out and travel to his farm near Eldoret, an exclusive private moment with Elliot Kipchoge. <laughs> It's a very big farm, it's very beautiful. Yeah. You don't plan on retiring soon, do you? No. Here? Yeah? No, but uh, not yet, but, I don't, but, but all in all I'll retire, so. We all will, eventually. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you won't stop running, I'm guessing. Maybe not competing, but... I, I, I will not stop running, yeah. yes. How many years has it been now? It's, it's 18 years 18 now. 18 years, this is yeah. the 18th year. Yeah. When you see everything that you've accomplished, surely you must feel very proud of yourself. Uh, yes, I am proud of myself. I am proud of those who are actually uh, in, 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 my, in my surrounding. Mm. That uh, without them, actually, I couldn't uh, be here now. Yeah, that's actually what I want to talk about, the people who are around you and how you're able to keep a very strong mind yes. despite all the challenges. So is it okay if we go sit in your barn? I saw some haystacks. Today we are going to take you back to Earth and put you on haystacks. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Athletes in particular endure a lot of stress and pressure. They have mental challenges which they sometimes don't talk to people about. Here in our country last year, three great athletes unfortunately losing their lives. How would you assess the state of sportsmen and women, their mental health, particularly in Kenya right now? I think actually the stress uh, with, with, with sportsmen and women actually is, is increasing and it's unfortunate. But uh, it's, all the, it's, it's, it's as a result of uh, 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 living or being surrounded by negative people. Have you ever found mm. yourself in that situation where you were experiencing these high levels of stress? And if so, how did you deal with it? I have been surrounded for the, 18 year, for the last 18 years with the positive people, both actually in, in sport and outside the sport. So I think I'm a lucky one. I've been actually uh, 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 following uh, the right uh, values and having a value actually myself, which mm -hmm. I call, which I can't live without it. I have things which I can die with those things. Uh, what are these values that you say, you know, they're so important to you that you actually can't live without them? The value actually of uh, integrity, in sport, what I mean by integrity is courage to go to the next mile, courage to face anything in, in, your, in, in your life, the value of the family, the value of self-discipline, the value of consistency. Yeah. So I can live without, without those values, then there is no value. So who are these people that you've surrounded yourself with, who you say, you know, they're the ones who hold you together when things are a bit shaky? Oh, I'm surrounded by my coach, Patrick Sang. I'm getting all the values, I'm getting... Uh, what's needed from him as far as even uh, uh, living is concerned. Yeah. Yes. Can you tell me maybe some of the, the key points that uh, he has, he's taught you over the years? The, I mean, the, you've been with him a long time. Yes, yeah. the, key, the first uh, point is trusting myself, uh, 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 treating myself as the best one, living our honest life. Those are three points actually which, has, which he told me when I, when I was still young. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to understand how you manage to control your emotions so well. Because you said in previous interviews that discipline is one of the ways to do that. Is this the only way? Because you're very tempered. I understand life. You know, you know in this world, so, so you need to understand life. And anything comes in your way, in a negative way, you need to understand. Because they say where there is life, then there is a challenge. So how do you deal with some of these challenges? Or how have you dealt with them in the past? Because, you know, Athletes get injured all the time, physically, uh, and I can imagine that causes a lot of pressure. Losing a run, that doesn't feel nice. Um, not having a good training day, maybe you're just feeling off. 
Yeah, to, I to those all of them are challenges. If you yeah. don't have, a, if you don't feel after a basic training today, then tomorrow is a day. But uh, it's good to, to have the worst training in that day, but, but finish the training. It can keep, uh, it can keep my, I can give myself actually my mind to calm. Because even if I, it was really, the training was really painful, but I finished. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And how would you advise, you know, these young professionals? I'm sure you run with them here all the time. They must see you on the streets and want to give you a high five and want to get your autograph. How do you advise them to face the challenges of today? Because young people are grappling with a lot. Uh, uh, you need to, to show that uh, you are a real professional. You know, to be a professional is just, you build your career, you respect your professionalism, you work actually and respect your ethics of, of, of of your professionalism. So it's somebody who is actually a value-oriented person. It's easy to manage. It's mm. easy to instill anything you want to instill in a positive way. But you cannot instill anything negative because it's a value. He's or he, he, he or he, she is a value-oriented man or woman. You cannot actually sway him or her in a negative way. Yeah. Um, I, I really love that you keep coming back to this whole idea of values and I think I'm finally getting it that if you stand for something then it's hard for people to put yes. their own evils yeah. in you in a sense. When you think about uh, your future at the moment because you're a man who's accomplished everything in your career at this point, uh, what do you visualize? Oh, I think I'm visualizing that uh, I need to make uh, our country, a running country, and, and the whole world a running world. Uh, before we call it tough, actually, uh, uh, in, in, in sport. And still, I'm still hungry to perform, to inspire the next generation, and, 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 and tell the young people that actually, if you, if you say yes in your heart and transfer to your mind and say it in your mouth, then you can perform. It's not about sport. That's about any other profession. That uh, We need people actually to respect their professions. We need people to, to invest in themselves and invest in their, in their families, their friends, their neighbors. That's what I'm, um, or that's what in my, it's in my bucket list. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a very busy bucket list. <laughs> so how do you plan on making us a running nation or a running world? Because it's one thing to be inspired by you, but it's another thing to wake up in the morning and run yourself. I'm trying to tell people that so, before you do anything, even spare you at 30 minutes and run. What about run. who are saying that they, they don't have time, it's too busy, the schedule, <laughs> what do you say to that? There is nobody who is busy in this world. There is no responsibilities in this world. There is a responsibility, but no responsibilities. There is time for everything. You just need to make time for it. Yes, yeah. and stick with the time.